Hi all, I just wanted to share a quick way I've uh, worked out to use uh, Dollar Tree ready board foam board and hot glue to make uh, true uh, airfoils. I'm going to do a quick and dirty version that's uncovered, it's just paper. It's 30 inches long by 6 inches wide. And if there's enough interest in this, I'll uh, make another video that describes how to do uh, coverings, different cords, different thicknesses, different colors, um, integral control surfaces that are made from the same piece of foam board that just continues over, and also using a carbon arrow uh, shafts as wing joiners and spars. The advantage of this method is that it requires just cheap Dollar Tree foam board. Other brands may work, but this is the only one I can vouch for. It uses one continuous piece to create the lower, the upper skin, and the control surface in a method I'll show later. You can make it in variable thicknesses, variable cords. It has a channel in the front and a channel in the back. If you make a twin, you can mount a motor on it and run your power supply through the front channel. And then you can use the back channel to run uh, servo lines for your aileron uh, and or flaps. All you absolutely need for this, uh, the simple version of this is the foam board, hot glue, measuring device, marking, and uh, straight edge is really helpful. Some of these clamps are, or a help, uh, helper is a good idea if you can get it. First step is with the Dollar Tree foam board is find the ridgier side of it, which is often the side with the price tag, and put that side up. From one edge, measure six inches. So I've got the straight edge at six inches. This is where I like to use the clamp to hold that down at one end and um, use your desired cutting device. Set it so you can just score the paper, not cut all the way through the foam board. And you just score right along there at six inches. Take that paper. Okay, so the paper has been removed from the inside of this side and left there, and there is the transition where I've scored it. And all you need to do is take your hand, or if you've got something stiff, like I've got a piece of aluminum right here, and just take that, lift it up, and fold it over, and push down. So at this stage, you've got a piece that's folded over with the paper removed from the inside. Paper is left on the outside, left on the outside, and the leading edge is a, is a little on the chubby side. So what I like to do is put it down right on the edge of something and Take your straight edge, clamp it down, give it a little squish like that. To Next cut two uh, one inch strips off the other side from the part that you just folded. So you have one, two pieces like that cut off here. The next step will be to glue these two formers inside the wing. Here's the upper skin of the wing, here's the lower skin of the wing, this part's been depapered. I've put a line right here so you can see it, but in real life you'll be able to tell the difference between the unpapered and the papered side. And I just use one of these one inch forming strips as the spacer, like that, and then put a thin strip of glue right up adjacent to that. And it doesn't need to be a lot of glue. There's nothing to lend strength here. The main force at work is just compression. So just enough to make that stick down. Follow that with a strip of glue on top of the bottom former. Take the top one, put it right on top. Keep those aligned and press down. And I recommend taking the paper off the top one just so that it this conforms better with the inside of the upper surface of the wing. Then you put one more strip of glue on the top former. Fold the top surface of your wing over, and if you've got something to hold that down, or you can just use your hands while that cools. Okay, so there's the leading edge. Here's the trailing edge, and then using that trailing edge as your guide for the glue, you just put a thin bead under here. 
This can be a little bit more generous for strength purposes. And then use your hands or some, some other rigid object to hold that trailing edge down. And then here's the transition between your upper surface of your wing and the trailing edge. And here's just leftover foam, so just put a straight edge up against that. Cut that right off, and then there's your airfoil. Now the advantage is that it's super simple, super fast, easy to do, it doesn't take any real skill or finesse. Um, it gives you a nice rounded leading edge. It's a little bit of a stubby trailing edge, but here's where you put your control surfaces. And uh, servos, usually I'll cut those into the bottom, insert them, and then run the wires through the inside. The uh, drawbacks are that it's, uh, it does have kind of a blunt trailing edge, but I'll show a solution for that in a future video. Um, it is uh, paper on the outside. If you fly on wet grass, that's not a good idea. It's a good idea to cover that with tape or paint, which I'll show in a future video. It does have the flexibility of increasing the camber and thickness as well as the cord just by using different dimensions and cuts. I'll weigh this afterwards. So that is all of my batteries that I own, two at the ends and all on the center of the wing and getting a little bit of flex. There's no spar or any internal support in this other than the foam board. So that's uh, 4 pounds, 10 ounces, 2100 grams, plus these three that exceed the um, capacity of the scale. So that's over 5 pounds weight capacity on that wing. And the wing itself weighs 2.4 ounces or 68 grams, so for a 30 inch wingspan and a 6 inch cord. So for less than a buck worth of materials and foam board and glue in about 5 minutes time, for me that's a pretty economical and pretty effective wing. And I'm not saying anything about KF airfoils and slab airfoils, uh, they have their place, but if you really want a true airfoil on a budget, real quick. I think this may be a good idea. If anybody wants, uh, please leave me a note and I'll give additional details on how to do the plastic uh, tape wing covering and how to do the control surfaces that are integral with the um, foam board and so forth and some other details and uh, how to join these together into bigger wing spans and some other kind of cool